Whenever you're ready, could you explain what you've put together? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, I'm Vita. I'm a senior in ECE. Hi, I'm Nadia, and I'm also a senior in ECE. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is our project. It's called the RP2040. Thank you to first. <laughs> um, it's essentially down to the core, it's a plant kit. Um, that tells its user whether you should water or fertilize your plant. By fertilizer, we mean urine. Um, so we're working with a research group on campus. It's with Professor Rebecca Nelson, and she's over in the CALS department. And she is trying to find ways to use human urine mixed with other solutions as a form of fertilizer. And we're helping her lay some of the basic groundworks for her research and take in some data points. Uh, this is just one of the data points. Eventually, she wants to go to multiple users and see and track the progress of how to use human urine as a form of fertilizer and how effective it is. So you might wonder like how we got into <laughs> this. Um, and we've always been interested in like the intersection of engineering and anything to like help, I don't know, like help the world um, in some way. And so something specifically we're very interested in is the environment because that's a huge persisting problem. So we were thinking, okay, how best to help is like at least make some change by like helping them. Yeah, we're trying to use engineering as a toolkit to help solve other problems and explore other fields. And we actually came across this research group. Me and Nadia were volunteering down at Porch Fest back in October, which is like a little festival that they have down in downtown Ithaca. And when we were volunteering walking back, we saw these tents and um, a lady with a bunch of books on a table. And so we just walked over just out of curiosity. And we went over and we were just asking, what are these tents, like what's going on? And she was explaining some of the work that she's doing with urine. And um, I was a contributor. I was like, I'm gonna go in the tent, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go. It's literally just like, um, think about porta potty, but then you just see a bag underneath that just collects urine, like only urine. And she walked us through a lot of, we talked for like a while, like yeah. over, we talked a very long time with her. She was really awesome. We ended up, um, it came up across like at the end that she was actually a professor here on campus. We got her email and we decided it would be really fun to work with her with this. And it's been really fun working with the research team. They're really, they're really great people. And I think they're really excited to work with engineering students. And hopefully this opens the path to more people working with research groups and other disciplines for their final project. That's our part of our goal with this. Awesome. And I think we can go into like a little demonstration of how this sure. works. Sure. All right. And so um, we have our Pico W, so not the one we normally use. And big shout out to Bruce, because um, <laughs> we're using this Pico W as a Wi-Fi access point. And so I'll show it on my phone. You'll see like a bunch of the websites and you'll see Pico W tests. And that's one of the websites you can go to. Um, password is really secretive. It's password. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you join on, it takes a sec, say, welcome to the RP2040. Make sure I can see that. There oh, I sorry, yeah, you yep. can see it? Got okay, it. and this is user interface, and Nadia, I don't know if you want to start explaining with yeah, the yeah. sensor. Okay, so, here, do you want to switch spots? Yeah, sure, sure, okay, that'll cool. be easier. Um, okay, so, this is our capacitive soil sensor, and okay. it essentially reads your moisture levels. Um, so right now, based on your moisture levels, you'll see um, a meter, that tell, it'll be red, green, or yellow. So this one tells us we're good. Um, and then from here, you can measure your EC sensor using an EC sensor. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, this is from our research group. It is very expensive. So okay. we're gonna try to find a way to hopefully down the road. Okay. Thank you. Um, this should be measuring the leachate but it yeah. doesn't look like it has any more leachate. leachate. Yeah, we can just move on to the next one then. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is well fed, so okay. yeah, we shouldn't be feeding it anything else. But, okay, so, so we can move. Now we take the, so we have another sample, as you can see. Oh wow, that was out, really quick. So it, it, really quick. And so now here, I'll swap yeah. this out, yeah. So this is one of our other, Oops. oh, you're good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is another soil that we have. That one was pretty moist. This one, try to see if we can get it to like a, Let's see. Should we push it in? Yeah, more? just push it in a yeah. bit more. This should be like our middle ground. So if you see it's yellow. Yeah. So it's like, oh, like, you know, needs a little work to do. And, and so you get a message underneath too. 
Yeah, so we're gonna put in EC sensor reading. What is EC sensor? It's just it, electrical conductivity, so how salty the leachate is, and that's leachate is just what comes out of the soil. Okay. And so in here we have just an extension of the leachate, just because it'd be easier. And we can, you can see the reading right here. It shows 7.20 in millis, uh, millimos. So then in here, I'll put it in 720 micro. So ask the user if it in micro. micro ohms. Mose, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then. And then it should say it's water. Yep. It's too salty, so it needs to add water in. So it's telling you to add more water? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. And then, so the last one. Is, okay. And this one, we try to make it so that this is like the driest soil. So we'll pack it in. Oh. Okay. This, oh. Oh, that was right. Oh, we put in the leach. Okay. So this one should be like the driest soil. It'll go into the red zone. We like just did some calibration with it. Okay. Yeah. And then we can do the final EC reading. And this is 444 micro. Okay. Put, type that in. 444. Okay. And that's typing in the EC. And it reads, you need to add. It'll take a oh. sec to load in. Add fertilizer until green. Cool. <laughs> Because that one is just uh, needs the urine put in. Mm -hmm. the, I the see. EC reading is I see. Okay. So, yeah. so if you were to water this now, would that turn green? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Yep. If you put in fertilizer, it'll turn green. And just like as soon as as long as it's in the green, then the user knows that they're in a good place. And if you see any other color, you're not. Or at least don't put anything in there while it's green. Okay. Okay. That is really interesting. Have you been able to demo this to the group yet? No. Nope, yeah. we're going to demo okay. with us. Yeah, we're awesome. excited to show them this. <laughs> very, very cool. Video that also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah we I'm excited to show them. I think they'll be really excited. Yeah. Really, really nice. Uh, anything else you want to say? Or No, that just that we hope you guys liked it. Awesome. We yeah. sure did. Awesome. Yeah. Yay. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you.